Hey, this is Shweta, and in this video, we will study about the basics of C, and the topics are pointers uh, and application of pointers. So, uh, here the example of pointer. Uh, the statement int asterisk pointer creates a new box of type address of int box, more commonly referred to as the type pointer to integer. So, here uh, we have defined a variable asterisk pointer and ptr is equal to address of a a1 and here we have defined uh, uh, array of a10 and 10 is the size of this array so uh, in ptr we are storing the uh, address of a1 a1 means uh, address of uh, this is i uh, this is one is here the indexing of this array one array a so the statement ptr is equal to uh, address of a1 assigns to the ptr the address of the box a1 commonly referred to as ptr now points to a1 so um, there are few points related to this and the points are the like asterisk is known as indirection operator it is also known as dereferencing operator and it is uh, an unary operator and we have studied in pointer that pointer is uh, we in uh, address of operator uh, address of operator is also an unary operator it takes address as an argument and asterisk returns the content whose address is its argument so here in this example we have taken int a is equal to 10 uh, a is uh, a variable of uh, int type and we are printing the value of a using percent d and let's look at this uh, let's uh, have look on this uh, line on printf percent u address of a here we are using percent u because uh, in in the above line we are printing the value of a but in this line we are uh, printing the address of a so we uh, so we are using a uh, person u let's uh, the address of a is 1000 so print a person d uh, asterisk address of a so asterisk address of a will return uh, will again return the value of a means uh, because uh, it is returning the argument to the uh, address so uh, and a is address of operator it will write the address and asterisk a will return the value that is stored uh, in that particular address so here uh, I have taken another example a is equal to 10 asterisk s s is equal to address of a so here I am storing the uh, address of a in s variable and asterisk of uh, asterisk of a here we are declaring the variable s it is indicating that it stores address so and a is equal to 10 we cannot write this this is uh, it is not right is wrong because and a is uh, pointing the address of value address of uh, the variable a it is not pointing the value of a so uh, this is wrong next what are the pointers pointers are variables that stores address of another variable Pointers consumes two byte of memory. If it is in type, then it will consume two byte of memory. Uh, if it will it will be a float type, then it will consume four byte of memory. And if it will be a char type, then it will consume one byte of memory. So it depends on the type and data type uh, what we are using in the pointer. So here we have declared uh, the pointer uh, asterisk s and a is equal to 5 a variable we are storing the address of a in s and we are printing the value of a and s means we are printing the value of a list 5 and the address of a uh, which is stored in a next we are printing the uh, address of a and the value of a here the asterisk s will store the value that uh, store the value that is stored uh, store the value that indicate uh, that points to a particular address so uh, the value that is stored in a 
S indicates the address of A and asterisk S will point the value of A. So it will again return 5. So print F uh, in last line we have written asterisk and S. Asterisk and S means S, uh, S will return the address of A and A will return it will mean uh, if uh, there is and and asterisk then they will cancel out each other and we will get the value of s. s is what? s is the address of a. So in first we will get the uh, value of a and the address then our second line we will get the address and value and third line we will get the address only. So uh, in this example uh, I have uh, declare uh, a pointer of in type and a variable of in type uh, in in pointer p asterisk p that is a pointer because we have declared uh, declared it it with asterisk p so it will hold the address of it will hold the base address of a so pointer will always store the base uh, base address of any variable what is the base address base address is the address of first element of that array and the first element of that uh, array means uh, first element of A is 1000. The address of first element is 1000. So it will store 1000. Here float B and asterisk Q it will store the base address. So base address is 2000. Care C R asterisk R R will uh, store the base address of 3. Base address is 3000. So it will store 3000. So uh, we have declared it in uh, in type float type and cat type if we are declaring it in in type we can only use as in type because uh, uh, it will vary with um, the pointers will vary if we are declaring in in and using it in float because in in type it will have only two bytes while if we are using it in float type it will have four bytes so the value will vary uh, uh, as we change the value of data type in this example, uh, we have taken uh, 2a is equal to 10 asterisk p and double asterisk q. And we are storing the uh, address of a in p and address of p in q. So, what is the meaning of double asterisk? Double asterisk means the asterisk means uh, indicating the level of indirection. So, asterisk p, uh, it is... Uh, level uh, it is of level 1 so it can hold the address of 0 level and double asterisk q it can hold the address of level 1 so uh, q is storing the address of p so p uh, is of level 1 and q is of uh, level 2 so it can store the uh, address of level 1 so q is of level 2 so it can store the uh, address of p P is of level 1 so it can uh, store the address of A um, as A is of level 0. So uh, here in this example uh, we are storing uh, 10 in A in P we are storing the address of this 1000 and Q is storing the address of P. So we cannot add multiply or divide two addresses but we can subtract them and we will study in uh, next slide. We cannot multiply or divide any integer to the address. But we can add or subtract any integer to the address. We cannot multiply, but we can add or subtract. Uh, in another example, uh, this example, if I want to assign 5 in A, then how uh, how I will assign? So, uh, I have declared A is equal to 10 uh, asterisk P double asterisk Q. Means P storing the address of A, Q storing the address of uh, P. Double asterisk is equal to 5 will change the value of a to 10 how uh, asterisk q points to p means asterisk q uh, points to p means uh, it will points the value inside the p and double asterisk q means it will point the value inside the a means uh, asterisk q defines p so double asterisk q defines a as as double asterisk q means what Double asterisk Q means asterisk P and asterisk P is equal to A. Asterisk P assigns value A. Uh, and in this example, int A is equal to 10, asterisk P, asterisk, double asterisk Q. 
same example here uh, i have written p plus 1 means we are uh, means i am uh, adding uh, 1 to the pointer a pointer p sorry and here uh, a is 2000 pointer p is 1000 so it must be uh, 1000 it must be 1001 after adding 1 but not the result uh, the result will be 1002 because we have declared uh, p as in type so in type have 2 by so uh, it will uh, add the base address plus that address and it will move to the next block with the next variable so what is the formula pointer plus n is equal to pointer plus size of pointer into n size of pointer means it depends on the data type if it is int then we will multiply with 2 if uh, if it will be float then it will multiply it by 4 and if it will be char then it will multiply it by 1 so here we have written p plus 1 so address of p is given 1000 and size of pointer as it is int type so 2 and the formula is 1000 plus 2 into 1 that will be 1002 this is the answer we can subtract two addresses if they are of same data type if pointer 1 minus pointer 2 is equal to actual subtraction that is 2000 minus 1000 is 1000 divided by the size of pointer here the size of pointer it is of n type so uh, the size will be 2 2 byte so here in this example we uh, if you want to swap two numbers uh, so what will be the uh, program so here we, uh, we have swapped two numbers with the help of uh, a function by defining a function um, we here we have defined a function and i have written here the asterisk uh, x and asterisk y why i have written this because uh, here i have taken two variable in main function and i have called the address of a and address of b and I am swapping the address of A and address of B because if I swap the values here and it will swap the values but how uh, I will get this values here this will be problem so I am uh, I am here taking the address and the, here we will get the value in that address with the help of as, asterisk x and asterisk y because asterisk x will point to a as we have written swap, swap and a and, and b and int asterisk y will point to b so the value of a and b will be in x and y in asterisk x and asterisk y because asterisk x will uh, be a pointer and asterisk x will be the value to that uh, to that address that is and day so I have written the code to swap two numbers. I have taken one in. Uh, I have taken one variable with this help of variable t. I have swapped two numbers. t is equal to asterisk x, and the the value will be swapped with the help of this program. And here we will. Uh, I am calling the address of a and b. So this is the example of call by reference, and it is same as the call by address. In this example, formal arguments are pointers variables formal arguments these are the formal arguments and these are the actual arguments and here reference means to address these are all in pointers thank you